So Canada is finally reducing the number of foreign workers coming into the country for the first time ever. Well, it seems like that the government is realizing that we might have a problem here. So first of all, let's look at what's changing. Right now, the temporary residents make up about 6.2% of the total Canadian population, which translates to about 2.5 million people. So the new policy aims to reduce this number to 5% by 2027, or roughly 500,000 fewer temporary residents. Work permits to temporary workers will only be issued for 6 months as opposed to the current 12 months to ensure accurate market needs assessment. Also, the share of low-wage workers will be reduced from 30 to 20% except those in construction and healthcare. Also, employers must also show officials their effort to hire asylum seekers and other work permit holders inside Canada before they bring in overseas workers. So why is this change now? Well, two main reasons. Number one, jobs growth has been declining over the past number of quarters. And obviously the housing affordability has, is at one of its lowest points for the 41 million strong population. And one less talked about factor, politics, as we are getting close to the election season. So will this change anything or address some of the current challenges that uh, we are facing today? Well, only time will tell. In my view, a lot of it has to do with how these policies are actually rolled out. For example, 81% of the temporary workers come under the International Mobility Program, or IMP, that may not require an employer to prove that a job cannot be filled by a local resident. So if areas like that are simply not addressed as part of this policy, we simply won't see any major change to the current issues that the Canadians are facing today. Also, we still see almost 700,000 job vacancies across Canada. How do we tackle filling those jobs? Unfortunately, it's anyone's guess.